It is said that an image speaks thousand words. Is it really true? If that is true, why is it difficult for us to solve an image-based question when it comes to a neat PG or an INST or an FMG prep? First, let's verify if really an image speaks a thousand words. Does it? It does, right? Just by looking at this image, I literally get goosebumps because I can still recollect the cheering of Dhoni, Dhoni in the Vankere Stadium and India, India all over, the crackers, entire night the crackers was flowing. Not just that, I can even remember what I was doing. I was doing my internship, sitting in the NICU posting, looking into a tiny screen to see whether they are, uh, India is going to win or not with a nail-biting finish. Amazing. So pictures do speak words. Pictures do speak more than thousand words, a picture tells a story, a picture tells us to remember things very quickly. But then, why are we not able to solve an image-based question? With especially your INICT exams coming very close together in a month or so, we felt that there's a need for us this time to revisit the strategy, revisit the entire revision schedule via images. Because like I said, every image has thousand words in it. If you're first time here, click on the subscribe button and I'm Dr. Anjit. Let's learn pathology and medicine together as a more, right? And this introduction is for the IBQ series focused on the INICT exams, which you'll be having starting from tomorrow. Focus primarily on the PYTs, PYQs, and to make sure you will have a recollection memory based on images. If you see a target cell, it has to tell a story about thalassemia. If you see a starry sky, it has to tell about buckets, not just buckets, the treatment, the prognosis, the diagnosis, the pathogenesis, the gene as well. That's how strong images are linked. And INACD exam has close to one third of the entire exam formed of images. And why are we struggling with it when image can tell lots and lots of story? And this time, we are going to make it happen for every INACD aspirant. This will be the must-have resource. We'll be reading all the 19 subjects in the form of images. I know, I know, I can hear you. Is it available only for the Sankal Bach students? Can any person who's attending the INACD exam attend this? The answer lies here. Absolutely, yes. So this series is going to start from tomorrow. That's April 15th and it'll be starting from 6 p.m. I'll be the first person who will be taking that. Uh, I'll be taking pathology followed by orthopedics, x-rays, lots and lots of named x-rays, lots and lots of lines, diagrams, everything, spine, bones, or your skull, anything, everything can be recollected just by looking and revisiting these images just before the exam. Followed by obstetrics and gynecology and we'll have biochemistry, we'll have community medicine, we'll have all the 19 subjects. Want to know more about the dining table? Head on to our Instagram page, follow us on our Instagram channel and also there'll be a link below on the Telegram channel where you can download the entire PDF. The question comes, sir, I'm attending the exam. I'm attending this class, let's say. But what do I do in the final two or three days before the exam? Because lectures go for a long time. I cannot revisit and look at the entire two, two and a half hour lecture of pathology the day before the exam or the two day before the exam. That's where we give you annotated as well as an unannotated PDF on a Telegram channel. So what I want every INST aspirant to do is simple. I'm sure you must have gone into the mode of revision. Stick to the standing table, revise accordingly. Every day at 6 p.m. when you're very, very tired, Come with to us, come to the PW Meta YouTube channel, sit very carefully, tighten your seat belts, take the PDF, annotate and write along with us. After the lecture, two, two and a half hours lecture, half an hour, quickly skim through the PDF, recollect all the stories, what the picture says, and make sure mark them then and there. Then the next day, start reading orthopedics from the morning, attend the orthopedic session, mark the PDF, write them. If you feel it's difficult for you to mark continuously, if you don't have a let's say an uh, iPad or anything or a tablet for you to scribble or annotate, don't worry. We'll also give you the annotated PDF at the end of the class, which also will be available in the Telegram group, which is there in the link below, fine? Then complete orthopedics the same day. Do it for gynecology, complete the gynecology the same day. Do it for biochemistry, complete biochemistry the same day. So this is not just a series. This is not just an IBQ series. It's a way to routine, make your routine perfect, Make sure that you don't skip away any of the important topics, any of the important images. At the same time, revise in the terms of images, not just that. And finally, f get perfect revision material for the last two days of the exam. What are you waiting for? And I am excited to uh, talk more in terms of images because my entire subject is based on pink and blue. Let's make sense to the pink and blue. See you soon tomorrow. Till then, bye-bye from Dr. Anjit. Bye-bye.